Russia tonight, meanwhile, reports they are laughing this off at the Kremlin, saying, show us the proof. And so ABC's chief investigative correspondent, Brian Ross, with the evidence so far. In Moscow tonight, a challenge to put up or shut up, with deputies for Russian President Vladimir Putin and Russian television demanding the U.S. produce any evidence it has implicating Russia in the hacking attack. Any evidence should be released. To date, there has been none. Evidence that President-elect Donald Trump continues to maintain is far from certain. They're fighting among themselves. They're not sure. But, in fact, America's intelligence agencies are sure. Based largely on the forensic evidence, the FBI and cybersecurity experts discovered inside the computers of the Democratic National Committee. They get in by what's called a spearfish attack. Among the experts on the case, cybersecurity analyst Justin Harvey, who says the Russians first planted what's called a dropper or beacon to send material back to Moscow. A dropper is a little tiny bit of software that calls back home and says, I'm here, I was successful. And it had a telltale Russian signature, with experts saying it was written in Moscow's time zone and seemed to have gaps on what were Russian holidays, all entered by a distinctive keyboard. We saw uh, the Cyrillic alphabet being used. And then, U.S. intelligence says, the beacon transmitted the hacked emails to an Internet address overseas. And it was an IP address that had been previously seen in other Russian attributed attacks. But it wasn't just forensics. The FBI has joined the CIA in the assessment that the Russian president was directly involved in the hack attack, based on new, highly classified information that authorities say comes from directly inside the Kremlin. The evidence so far, let's get right to Brian tonight because the FBI now on board with the CIA saying it's the Russians directed by Putin and largely to help Donald Trump. So. Does this put increasing pressure on the president-elect to at least acknowledge this? Well, it certainly does, David, especially with key Republicans raising questions about Trump's nominee for Secretary of State, Rex Tillerson. The Exxon CEO has been an unabashed admirer of Vladimir Putin and has described their relationship as very close, David. Fast-moving developments on this tonight. Brian, thank you.